what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so this will be the spoiler free review for Os osgood perkins long legs so long legs is directed and written by osgood perkins it is starring michael monroe nicholas cage blair underwood alicia witt michelle coy lee dakota dalby and kiernan shipka is also in this film now set in the 1990s new fbi agent lee harker was assigned to an unsolved case involving a satanic serial killer known as long legs as the investigate as the investigation becomes more complicated with occult evidence uncovered harker realizes a personal link to the killer and must act quickly to prevent another family murder now long legs is without question for now at least the most disturbing movie of the year now if you're someone who wants to get up in arms over the hyperbole reactions the film has been getting online that's you but do not be fooled long legs is still a strong horror film and another successful addition to Oz Perkins' resume. So despite all of the online banter that I'm seeing about how this is being overhyped, I would say ignore that when it is time to watch this movie because it is still a well-crafted film that deserves your time. So our story centers on Lee Harker, an FBI agent with a background in law enforcement. Uh, as the synopsis mentioned, she's relatively new to the FBI side of things. She's visibly troubled throughout this film and withdrawn from most of the story and has a conflicted relationship with her mother. Now, off the rip, I will say the story doesn't do much to make any of these characters likable, but makes up for it in favor of a screenplay that's constantly inviting you to put the puzzle together, just like the film's successful marketing campaign. From the opening scene to the final shot, Long Legs is a gripping psychological film that only gets more intense the longer it stays on. Also, that's not to say that Lee herself isn't somewhat relatable, because she is. Long Legs just thrives in the who, what, and why of it all, and that's fine. It actually is one of the strongest aspects of the screenplay that, again, makes up for what I think it lacks when it comes to character development. So much so that the character development lacking is a mute point, almost. Lee's fractured backstory keeps her involvement in the case engaging. Outside of Lee, though, her peers completely thin, despite being crucial puzzle pieces themselves. Perkins doesn't rely on formulaic jump stairs to get under your skin. Instead, it's just the fear of the unknown, disturbing images, unnerving conversations, and an anxiety-inducing atmosphere that is always present. Const and it feels like it's swallowing you at times, just because of the camera work, mostly. And the effort put into making long legs and intimidating presence is another effective source of terror for the film. Lee gradually becoming unnerved by the case is a nice source of terror as well. It's just nice to have a screenplay and a film that does not rely on gimmicks to get you scared. It's relying on an organic story being told that is terrifying and gets under your skin. Long Legs, who was actually named Kobel, for those who watched my video a few months back, it was nice to learn that I was right about a dude's name, which I guess is Kobel. Anyway, Long Legs has been on the loose for decades, but he doesn't seem to physically harm anyone. So how is he doing it? And it's these type of re repeated questions that are raised, repeatedly raising a new compelling question as the mystery is methodically unpacked, is precisely how Long Legs capitalizes on the fear of the unknown tremendously. There are some moments of exposition dumping, but none that are ever insulting to the audience. Long leg screenplay provides enough for us to connect the dots with Lee, which makes her more relatable by placing us in her shoes for the entire runtime. We are essentially the FBI agent, which is what Lee is, and that's a nice touch. I mean, I will say the third act twist, while sensible and satisfying, didn't need to be dumped the way it was. That's, that's really my biggest gripe with the film. There's a, a twist that kind of was shown not told and then it inevitably was told thankfully it wasn't told in a very dull or i already knew that sort of way there was definitely some pieces that were still missing it was just i didn't feel it was necessary to dump it the way that it was dumped L long legs still leaves a lot unanswered though which makes me eager to rewatch to see how i interpret things during the second viewing the film's themes about evil and protecting children from the evils of the world and the cycles of it all resonated with me a lot Michael Monroe does a wonderful job as always, but let me just say that Oz Perkins is one of the greatest horror directors working today. All of his movies are good, if not great, and the reason for this, nine times out of ten, comes down to how much he puts trust in his audience to figure out what is going on with his stories. He did it wonderfully with The Black Colt's Daughter, and he does it once again with Long Legs. Almost every frame is uncomfortable or nerve-wracking in some way. The camera work makes this experience more immersive and unsettling, especially those tracking shots with Lee, which are usually done from the angle of Michael walking forwards, 
walking forward, sometimes breathing he heavy as the camera is moving back, effectively making me just as anxious as she is in certain moments. Nicolas Cage, though, he's absolutely on fire in this movie. He is very disturbing to watch. His, his look, his delivery, very cartoonish, but in still a, an unsettling sort of way. You want to laugh, but you you know how you, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. It's like one of those instances where you want to laugh, but you don't know if you should actually be laughing because the dude's crazy. He plays crazy so well. He's firing on all cylinders in this role. It's like an uncomfortable laugh, if you will. If you've ever been in a situation where you're laughing uncomfortably, or maybe you've seen a scene like that in another movie or TV show where someone's laughing uncomfortably because they're actually terrified. That's what Nicolas Cage makes me want to do while I was watching him in this film. That's how impressive he was in this role. So shout out to Nicolas Cage. Another wonderful performance added to your resume. The sound design, the score, all of all again aspects that help make this experience a lot more terrifying. The film is perfectly paced. Definitely, I would say the pacing is top notch. Just just almost a near perfect movie, I would say, outside of the gripes I took with the fact that the characters are thin. But again, it makes up for that greatly by having a screenplay that is constantly inviting you to unsolve the mystery with these thin characters effectively making the fact that they are thin not as big of an issue as it would be for some other film that is lacking on having an engaging story so when you constantly have an engaging story it really is going to be a saving grace for your movie and long legs is still again like i said the most disturbing movie of the year i would go out and say that i'm going to give this movie a eight and a half out of 10 i enjoyed it that much i hope you guys enjoy it when you sit down and watch it in theaters and i probably will go back and watch this film again this weekend just to pick up on some things i missed because the screenplay is just dripping with things that it wants you to interpret as the viewer but the screenplay also provides things to come to logical conclusions so it answers some question, but still leaves things up in the air for you to just say, hey, well, what about this? So that's why I'm going to rewatch it to see what I can pick up on and draw conclusions from the evidence that was presented to me. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can miss a video in the description. I have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.